Well, I had to take a rise out of this D44. Impulse hole right there is plugged up all the way up to right here. Let's see how this bar and chain is doing. Oh my goodness. Where'd the rush go? Now. No. That ain't happening. So, I'm going to have to pop each one of them loose with the screwdriver, I believe, so I'm not going to film all that. If I can find a clean thing, I'm going to turn the camera off for you, so you won't have to go through the pain of all of this. Well, I got it off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this or not. I'm going to try. I got to get it folded up small enough to get it in a container. Well, I can soak it in uh, a vapor rush for who knows how long. So, the bar is looking a whole lot better. If the uh, channel is okay, I believe it'll be all right. I'm gonna read the numbers on that one. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> 1158- dash. 3863. I wonder if that 1958 is year. I doubt it. So, let's see. Let's see what happens here. So, that's the way it is with old chainsaws. Buy a new one, guys. And there is the impulse passages or passage through this intake. So, carb when I've been up here, this fastens to the crankcase. So, I got another hole from the crankcase into the crankcase still plugged all right here's what it looks like under the uh, intake riser these are your uh, reed valves this one right here is a whole lot stronger than this one over here i don't know why and then you got a cavity going down in here i don't know where that goes or what it's for this is your impulse line hole. So I got it open right here on top. And now it's hitting metal. I guess it makes a turn. 
Uh, all I can do is put some uh, light oil in here and see if it goes away. And that'll let me know that it's open from here down into the chamber where it gets its vacuum from. This is the for the gas line right here coming from the tank. The tank's right here. I just finished taking the Dremel and cleaned up some of the oxidation in here and then I vacuumed it out. I put a piece of blue masking tape over the intake port. I put a Q-tip in the uh, gas line. Uh, I looked inside that gas tank and the more I looked, the more I saw. Now, that's going to be real fun. Got bolts all the way around this thing which is not going to be hard to get them out but getting it broke loose and getting another gasket made and all that kind of stuff it's going to be real fun so on to the next i took my little vacuum and snow and stuck down in here and got cleaning some of this crud out of here and i found those two screws right there on all of the junk so i didn't have to take a muffler in half to get to the screws for the port so, this shield here needs to go get out of the way. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm going to try to let you all watch at the same time. Let me see what y'all seeing. You're not seeing much, are you? Prestolite, USA. 14.7. I think I'm a little too close to y'all. The three quarter inch socket would not fit on that. It was so rusty. So now let's see if I can turn it. <coughs> it's coming back down. Looks doggone good. Range might be stuck. I don't know how much y'all can see. Man, that's a big piston. Ooh wee. I don't, I don't know what the boy is on this thing. But the piston's looking pretty good. 